Hi everyone, Linda here. I'm an independent sensory consultant. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is video number two today. Same setting, same outfit. Didn't even take my glasses off. <laughs> uh, I had done a previous video uh, today. Uh, I had got three orders uh, dropped off today and um, I did combine the first two orders in a video that I just did before this one. And I wanted to save this one for uh, as a separate uh, video because it is my newly created quarterly club for my husband. And in it, I parked um, seven of the 10 Bring Back My Bar exclusives uh, for club only. So I'm gonna do a cold sniffs and I didn't wanna make the other video super long. Also, um, as we probably all realize from my previous videos, I um, I decided that I wanted to park a, quite a few of the fall winter scents that are discontinuing. Now, this is the first year where Scentsy has decimated the bakery section in the spring and summer catalog. There's what maybe what eight bars in that, and usually quite a few of the bakery scents just sort of carry forward and as i mentioned sometimes in the you know 30 plus celsius degrees it's not bakery friendly weather but i mean between now and june when it starts to get really hot you know we've always worn bakery we've always had them and for some reason they discontinued a whole bunch of them and um i thought what what's up <laughs> Anyway, the thing about uh, changing the catalog is they discontinue some scents. Okay, fall winter scents that you know aren't appropriate for spring and summer. They discontinue it, and they often bring them back year after year after year. But that's not a guarantee, and if they don't, you lose those bars unless you have them in your club, because your club will always make them for you if you've got them in a club. But I already have a club that's quite full of all the limited time offers and the sense of the month that I love. And um, previous bring back my bars from previous go rounds. So I was, at a, I was trying to think, what am I gonna do? And someone had on here on YouTube had said that they had started a club for their husband and so I did it. And actually it was a great idea. Uh, I, there's a little box you check when you set up a club and it says do you want to ship immediately and I said yes so that's how I got this order and now the next order club will come for him in April and then before the end of this month I will park other scents that I that are discontinuing from the fall winter catalog that I want to keep for myself and uh, these uh, exclusive bars I can decide whether I like them or not after I warm them and then between that and the 25 bars and the ones I decide to keep from that between the two clubs I'll be able to manage and it was actually a great suggestion because his club I'll get my club in March his club ships in April we can split the expense between two months instead of having one big giant one also someone else pointed out to me which is a great I hadn't thought of it but it was it's true you get to pick a half price item in each club so you get a half price item twice instead of one big lumpy club anyway uh, I thought it was a great solution so that's what this is this video is about today I'm gonna just I all I've parked in there so far up from the uh, fall winter catalog are the bakery items I have gone in now after shipping and put other bars in there I just didn't need the other bars but I wanted the bakery bars so that's what's in this in this haul right now Anyway, I'll start with those. Oh, before I do that, I'll just say right out of the gate what my half price item. I got the Scent Soft in Jammy Time. In my previous video, I showed you the love bundle I ordered and I thought, oh, I'll have the Scent Soft and I'll be all ready to do laundry. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll get to the bars. I'll start with the bakery ones that I saved. These are all in the catalog right now. They discontinue as of February 1st and they will not be available until next fall, August, and that's not a guarantee. So uh, the first one is Almond Croissant, and I warm this all the time. It smells like a baking almond croissant. It's 
got almond in it, but it's not overpowering. It's a very buttery. Croissants are typically very buttery. It's got a very buttery note to it. I love it. It's not super sweet, but it's sweet enough. It's lovely. Um, the next one is apple butter frosting, and it smells like an apple butter. Uh, it has that apple butter um, scent, you know, the mix of apple butter, and then they blend it into a, um, a buttercream, and it's yummy. And I use this all the time when I'm warming apple scents in my living room or other parts of my house, in my kitchen, and it's very delicious. The third one is butter pecan. I love this one. I'm not completely worried about this one disappearing. It's a, a pecan nut bar scent. It's not as sweet as some other bakeries, but it has a hint of vanilla and a hint of maple. Very, not maple, but just a very hint. That's how they sweetened it a little bit. And I like the nut, the pecan, but it's not, uh, it's not as nutty as, say, Central Park Pralines, which was a, an old bar, a Bring Back My Bar. It's not as nutty as that. It's a little more subtle, so it blends really well, and it goes with a lot of scents. Sugar Cookie. This one, I'm afraid, is, I, you know, from listening to other people who've paid more attention than me, Sugar Cookie's been transitioning from season to season forever, and now, all of a sudden, it's it's discontinued and so there is some 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 people are thinking this might just disappear and i mean there are people that have, have uh, mentioned they thought it smelled like play-doh or it didn't you know and there have been complaints about the throw it is one of our bricks if you have a, a club you can order a brick and this is one of the bricks in the bundle that they offer and um I have a brick. I didn't really need a bar, but I'm putting it in my club because I wanted to make sure and decide on my own if it doesn't come back, whether I want to keep it or not. So I really like it. I use it as a mix. I don't think it smells like Play-Doh. If anything, you know what it smells a little bit like? Uh, a doll face. Like, I don't know. I just can remember my daughters getting dolls as girls that had like a, a sort of a sweet, pretty scent on the face <laughs> when you smell the hard face like a cabbage patch or something anyway uh sugar cookie great mixer um the next one is cinnamon buttercream i just talked about this in my previous video it was another bar that i got there as well it's uh italian buttercream with the mascarpone note cheese note it's very nice it was new in the catalog this year um I think it was popular in the catalog. I'm not sure though. So it could be a one and done. I wanted to make sure I get it. So I'm putting it in my club. And then this one, Graham Cracker Crunch, it's discontinued, but I, this one I know is probably very popular. It is very nice too. It's like a Graham Cracker cr crust, has a peanut butter note, sweet. It would be a very good mixer with a lot of um, fruity scents. You could make it smell like a crumble for sure. It, it would give the graham cracker crust to, to something like almond cherry pie. It would, it's a very nice scent. So those are the ones I've parked in there now uh, for this order, for this uh, first kick at the can. I did uh, add to, to, the, to my club as well, to this club. I put cedar cider in there. I put apple winterberry apple tea i've put uh apple, caramel apple craze put hug in a mug and i put um, maple apple bourbon in there um i think another couple others but anyway i'm working on that those will be in my next this haul for this club next time anyway um the star of the show for this go round though are these uh Ten exclusive bars bring back my bars you can only get them in the club if you look on my website or your consultants website you're not going to see them um, they aren't displayed anywhere for you to read the notes or anything that you have to go into your club and open the um, select the bars to choose and then those bars are available for as to be chosen there 
That's the only place you can get them. And they're only available till January 31st. So anyway, this is my first sniffs at them. And uh, I'll start with Aussie Plum. And initially, uh, I had mentioned that I didn't think I was going to order this one. It's got Juicy Plum, Pink Grapefruit, Tart Pomegranate, and Smooth Vanilla. And Pink Grapefruit can be... Mm, that's nice. Uh, can be hit or miss. Well, I like pink grapefruit, but I'm not big on grapefruit scents. But this is um, quite nice. The plum at the back, pink grapefruit at the front. I don't really get pomegranate on cold. And I can smell a little bit of vanilla. This might be quite nice. Um, I typically aren't I'm not, I like plum scents, so that's, this is what might do it for me. Um, I'll warm it and let you, and let you know what I think in the end. Um, like I said, I wasn't going to give this one a try, but I, I am, and I'll warm it and see what, what I think. The next one, Bora Bora Blossom, I didn't order here, but I have, I did end up uh, doing a monthly club. Um, I got the whiff box as my half price item and then I stuck these bars in that club as well and I included Bora Bora Blossom because I thought well I'm going to try that one. I'm trying all of them except for one and I'll explain at the end. So Bora Bora Blossom is on its way with my monthly club um, and that monthly club as I explained before it's an in and out club for me. I use it when I need it and I don't get it when I don't want it so I just cancel it. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that, but I do. <laughs> uh, the next one is Caramel Pear Crisp, and it says ripe pear, juicy nectarine, blanketed brown sugar crust, and warm the caramel cream. Hmm. It smells very pear. It actually smells... There was another bar, whip pear or something else. It smells quite a bit like that. I can't remember the name of it. It smells like a little bit of cream, but not. I can smell a little bit of nectarine, like a peachy pear. I guess nectarine is not really a peach, but you know, it has the, a similar vibe. I don't smell the brown sugar crust at all. Hmm. Well, I'd have to warm this. Uh, I'm not always super keen on pear scents. If it has sort of a, a crusty brown sugar note to it warming, I will enjoy it more. I'll let you know. Oh, the next one, Hendrix. This one I was looking forward to. I, I put it in my club before I even smelled it. And this one is... Earthy patchouli, glowing sandalwood, bold pink pepper, and sweet tobacco flower. And yes, it's very patchouli and sandalwood. Smell the sandalwood at the front, patchouli at the back. Um, maybe a bit of the pepper. I don't know if I smell tobacco flower. That might come out on warming. This is right up my alley. I love patchouli scents. This is absolutely going in my club, uh, but I'll warm it and let you know how it does. Uh, the th next one is called My Home, and it's a new name for spicy cinnamon and floral scent. That's not telling us much, is it? Hmm, it's pretty, My Home. Uh, it is a cinnamon, but it, and it, it is, but it's not like a, it's not like a red hot cinnamon. It's a, almost like a, like a cinnamon, a, like it says spicy cinnamon. Yeah, I think because of, and there's floral, definitely floral in there. I can't identify it specifically, but it, it smells like a, a perfumey cinnamon. Does that make sense? That's quite pretty. Um, yeah, this might be nice. I mean, I'm not a big fan of floral scents, but this smells uh, quite cozy. Not so much flowery, but more of a cozy, you know, like walking into someone's house that has a lovely 
you know, some flowers on the table and, you know, some cinnamon tea and a mug or something. Yeah, very nice. I, I'm looking forward to warming that. The next one is oats and honey. And I've actually had this bar. I bought this bar off the wall at Value Village. Had the old Sensi logo on it. And I warmed it and it was lovely. I really liked it. It's a buttery mix of toasted oats, Duplo honey, and oven crisped with vanilla maple. And when I warmed it, um, I could. it's de definitely buttery. It's definitely oats. Toasted oats, and you can smell a bit of the vanilla maple, but not very heavy maple, very light. It almost smells a little like a cookie, like a oatmeal cookie. Very nice. I think, I, I like I said, I've warmed it. It was very lovely in the kitchen. This would be a nice addition, bakery addition, I think. The next one I have here is Simply Rose. Now, I said I wasn't going to try this. I'm not a floral person, but um, whew, it's very rosy. Um, I'm trying it because A, I've heard some recipes from people on what to mix Simply Rose with, you know, even bakery things that sound quite yummy. It's very strong and it's just rose. It's like you stuck your nose into a bouquet of roses. Very strong. Um, and if I did warm a scent, typically if I warm a floral, I often like a single note floral. This, I would have to mix this, like maybe with simply vanilla. But you know, my mom is 88 and she likes Scentsy. She has two warmers and um, I, you know, she comes to all of my sip and sniffs and she, you know, orders herself bars. And so I think she's going to really like this one. And um, so I ordered it partly for her and I, I will get more bars and have them if she likes it. So I'm gonna put it in my club until she decides whether she likes it. So it's kind of for my mom too. But I will try the recipes. And the last one here is um, Toffee Butter Crunch. And this is salted caramel glaze, candied walnuts, toffee, vanilla bean, and it's yummy, smells great, smells like caramel for sure. Maybe a little bit of the nut, not very much. And vanilla bean, yeah, you get definitely get the vanilla bean. Anyway, this one, uh, this toffee, the salted caramel cupcake and the salted toffee the soft salted caramel toffee, <laughs> I'm having a hard time keeping t track of these, are all going to do a, a time together. I'm going to warm one in each a different room. I'm going to travel from room to room and pick the best one. The one I'm going to warm it and see how long they last, how they throw, you know, what I think of them. Because I love caramel toffee scents. I love them. I want to have one in my stash but I can't, I mean, there's a lot of them now, three. <laughs> so I'll decide which one wins and I'll let you know how they do. Anyway, uh, that's salted. That's the last, um, Toffee Butter Crunch is the last one. Uh, World Traveler is coming. It's, I did include that in the bundle that I put in my monthly club. Um, I didn't think I would try it, but I've heard some good things from people, so I'm going to give it a shot. The only one out of the 10 that I'm not going to to purchase, because I've had it before, and that is Southern Evening. Now, I know that is a fan favorite. People love that one. But I, I, well, I actually had heard about it, and uh, when I was at the farmer's market, um, my upline, she has a booth at the farmer's market, and I... Uh, was there and she had a bar hanging there. I thought I'm gonna try that. So I bought it and brought it home and tried it and it I did not care for it uh, What is it southern evening a trace of perfume lingering sweetly in her wake this romantic twir twirl of French lavender geranium subtle fruits and white musk will prove an enchanting escape 
Well, it was way too much for me. So my sister was here a couple weeks ago and I said to her, would you want to try this? Because I'm not going to warm the rest of this bar. She said, sure. She took, she did a cold sniff and said, sure, I'll try it. Well, she was here this afternoon and she says, mm, no way. Mm -mm. She said it smelled like a um, soap opera man. <laughs> and I went, what? She goes, no, it smelled like a Tinder date. <laughs> like... I met somebody on Tinder and he, and he was a bad date. <laughs> anyway, I don't mean offense if you guys love Southern Evening, but I just thought that was so funny. It smells like a soap opera, man. <laughs> anyway, it's not for me and it's not for her either, but uh, lots of people love it. So, you know, if that's your jam, I, that's great. It's just not for me. Anyway, so that's the only one of the 10 that I won't uh, purchase. So I'll warm these and I'll let you know what I think of them. And when I get the others, I'll, I'll do a video of that club, receiving that club, and then I'll throw the other two on the pile to try so that I can come back and do a little mini, what, you know, warming review, I hope, before it's too late to order them. Anyway, that's my, uh, that's Kevin's quarterly club. And thanks for tuning in to that. Um, as I said, I'll let you know how they do. And I really appreciate you watching. I would love it if you would subscribe. Um, I love it if you comment. I, I've had some great comments. Um, I love reading them. What you think of, you know, what I've said or giving me ideas or suggestions. And um, I, I'm, I'm really happy that people share their, their thoughts. So if you want to say something, that'd be great. And if you have a YouTube, a YouTube channel, let me know in a comment because I would love to follow you. I'd love to support other people. I do this because it's fun and I want to share my thoughts with people who love Sensi. And um, I love watching the videos myself, other people's videos, it's fun. And I think there's so many great people out there in, in YouTube Sensi land. <laughs> and um, I mean, not just Sensi, lots of people love other, uh, you know, vehicles for scents, candles, you know, vendor wax, retail wax. Um, it's just fun. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support. And you'll see me again soon. Bye.